So I was gonna get you all coal for Christmas, but uh, it's too expensive. So I'm just gonna read you a story I wrote. It might sound a little familiar. Uh, 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 um, um. It's called The Night Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, cause I was single as shit. The stockings were hung by the space heater with care, in hopes that a new boyfriend would show up to share. If there were children, they'd be nestled, all snug in their beds. But it's been a dry season, and I can't even get ahead. Alone with my iPhone, I just double tapped a video of Steve Harvey pissing off a bunch of girls with thigh gaps. When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter, I'd have sprung from my bed, but damn this ass getting fatter. Away to the window, I dawdled and crashed. Those frightful sounds, turns out it was gas. The bruise on my shin, no doubt soon to show. I wondered at what point had I fallen so low? When what to my wondering eyes do appear, but a Chippendales limo, and not one of them queer. With a big burly driver so chiseled and fit, I knew in a moment that I wanted that. More manly than Old Spice, my hormones, they raged. And he whistled and shouted and he called out my name. My lady, my lover, my princess, my vixen. Those past men, they're stupid. Those bitches be tripping. <laughs> to the top of the stairs, to the bag from the mall, to the panties that don't say, I might as well have two balls. My skin dry as leaves that before winter do crack. I looked at my lotion and thought, man, this shit fucking sucks. So up to the bathroom, in my panties I flew to shave my legs and my armpits and to take a quick poo. And then in a twinkling I heard at the door the men calling my name, about to make me so goddamn poor. As I reached out my hand and was turning the knob, through the window they billowed in one sexy mob. The driver was dressed in only a hat that was red, and between the all of us, it was not held up by his head. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back. Woo! But he looked to his boys before taking me to the sack. Andrew, to the dishes! That pile looks scary. And Philip, the woodworks! This floorboard grows wary. His perfect plush lips seemed to move in slow-mo. And suddenly I was glad to be rid of my bro. Despite the chill and the razor burn. The orders flowed smoothly from his pearly white teeth, a jaw cut from stone, and a booty on fleek. He filled my cabinets with food to go in my belly, even stocked up on my favorite, peanut butter and jelly. He was funny and smart as he wiped down my shelves, then he told me I was pretty, and I shit myself. But a wink of his eye and a tilt of his head soon gave me to know it was time the bed. He spoke not a word, but went straight to work. He soothed all my scars from past terrible jerks. And laying a finger right over my lips, he said, damn girl, you got some nice hits. He sprang from the sleigh to his team, gave a whistle. Turns out they all robbed me, even took my yard's thistles. But they heard me exclaim as they drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all! It was one hell of a night. Oh, Merry Christmas, you filthy animals!